We're here at AV Florist with Chris Spiker. How you doing? Wonderful. Thanks for coming by. Little flower shop here on Avenue J at Low Tree. Been here since 1959. You know, it's not AV Florist. It's, it's also AV Night. We have so much fun in the flower business. We just try to tell the story a little larger. I was born in Monterey Park, and Mom and Dad were both born in Los Angeles. So we have a lot of history with Los Angeles, but we like the Antelope Valley. We've been in this location since 1959, and my parents, Wes and Gloria, bought the flower shop in 1953. They wanted to get out of Los Angeles. They wanted to move up to a place where they could start fresh as young people. And that's when all the old timers were around, you know, the cowboys and the, the jet jockeys, and they moved to the Antelope Valley. The original flower shop, though, where was that? It was on Sierra Highway, R&R &R Racing, that blue building down across from Camacho. And yeah, we were there for a long time. What precipitated the move? We wanted to build and own our own building. The freeway was coming along and Sierra Highway was kind of slowing down a little bit, so we wanted to be out on the west side of town. Now, over the years, how has the business model for flowers changed? You know, we're selling a lot of flowers still, and we're always seeing new customers even though we've been around all these years. Uh, but we just had Easter. And in, in the old days, everybody went to church. For Easter, they wore a corsage, or they sent Easter lilies, and all of those things are no more. What's still happening is we have proms, and so all the high schools are ordering prom flowers, and this is the first time most of these uh, young people have ever been in a flower shop. I see you out and about all the time, so that's part of staying busy every day. Yeah, and that uh, I probably got from my dad because he was very involved in the community. Uh, clubs and lunches and flower demonstrations. And yeah, and I have a great crew, so I don't really need to be here all the time. Well, tell me about AV Nice. Well, AV Nice, I borrowed the idea from Minnesota Nice. It's kind of like passive aggressive behaviors. Hey, let me help you. Um, but people in Minnesota are nice. So I thought the Antelope Valley needs something like that because you know, we need to be more positive, we need to talk good about ourselves, the things that go on in the Antelope Valley, the good things, the good stories. You know, you don't always see that. And people on the outside, they don't know what goes on up here. They don't know about Edwards and Mojave and all the cool stuff we do. There's nobody on the road, it's quiet, the weekends are fantastic, uh, still lots of uh, vacant land, and you know, which is opportunity. But it's also, it's, I was looking at the stars this morning, you know? can't do that everywhere. Well, these are beautiful. Sell a oh, lot of roses. Oh yeah, I bet you do. Huh? Yeah. And these roses are from Ecuador. As you can see from the fridge, we always have a lot of stuff. And it's not on, it's on spec. Oh, look at that. That was kind of hidden down there. I didn't yeah. see this. That's beautiful. So what, what's in this? This is a blue iris and yellow Asiatic lilies. And then this is Alstroemeria, or Peruvian lilies. And then of course, baby's breath. So tell me, well, what are you doing here? Just making some things for the coolers. So you just, uh, whatever comes to your heart. So show, so show me this one. Well, you show me this one. It has roses and sunflowers, gladiolas, larkspur, longer lasting flowers that also smell good. So who does your social media? Penny does. Hello. Hi. hi. So how, he tells me that you're fantastic. at what, what, What's different? What, what do you do? We take pictures of the fun we have here, the best products that we have here, some of the nicest customers, and I share them with everyone. Which one seems to drive the most business? Instagram. Everybody's photo related, so you, you're visual, you get to see what we do, and I run the wedding show too, so it, you get an all-around picture of that. It's very fun. I'm glad you didn't ask me when I'm retiring because I'm still having fun doing this and uh, we're going to be working for a while. It's still fun. 